wondering, when you are wanting to learn something new but you have no idea about it, you can use the learning process. There are three parts to the learning process, build knowledge, making meaning, and apply understanding. So, Ben, can you give me an example of, uh, of something you've done recently? Well, last time our focus was to make a difference in society. So we got into groups and chose a charity we were passionate about. We had to persuade an audience that this was the best charity to support. First we had to build knowledge on the text organisation of an exposition. Then we had to build knowledge on the charity. But we can't believe everything on the internet, so we had to build knowledge on reputable sources. We made meaning by sorting out the information and deciding by what was important and not so important. We had to reflect and check that we had enough information. If we didn't, we had to go back to build knowledge. We do a lot of thinking when we're in make meaning. The learning process is an unpredictable cycle, not a sequential one. We applied our understanding by creating an exposition and a presentation to persuade the judges. The presentation included videos, animation and music we created. How do I feel about the learning process? I love the learning process because it helps me through my learning and thinking. Thank you. Thank you. That was my learning. At first, when I drop into the pit, I struggle and feel stretched. I use the learning process and the seven learner qualities as a ladder to help me get out of the pit. At the moment, I am making a cookbook with a hub member. We had an idea to make a cookbook that had recipes from all around the world. But we wanted different recipes, not the ones you'd usually find. And we wanted the recipes to come from the people themselves, rather, from other, rather than just from other cookbooks. But we started to struggle. How could we get the recipes for our book? After doing some thinking, wondering and reflecting, we decided to list a number of different sources. Then we compared and contrasted our different ideas. Finally, we decided the best ways. We could use our class blog, which gets thousands of views every day, a cooking forum website, and we could email all the parents from Stonefield School, as we have so many different cultures here. Now we've got loads of recipes and need to sort and group them and plan what our cookbook is going to look like. Wow, this is going to be tough. Looks like we're in the pit again. Thank <laughs> you.